As part of a series of Maya tutorials on UV unwrapping and texturing, I'm going to start with a very simple exercise. It'll consist of a single planar projection and will involve at most very slight UV editing. To demonstrate this, I will create a texture using this leaf. I can create my texture by simply taking a picture of the leaf. By placing the object on a simple background, and using my uh, camera on my phone, I can create a texture of the leaf that I can then use in Maya. For even better results, I could create my texture using a scanner. Here's the texture I created with my phone. Let's take a look at its dimensions. It is 3,024 pixels wide, 4,032 pixels tall. This is not ideal. Maya prefers textures that are square and that have dimensions of 512 by 512 or 1024 by 1024 pixels. But as you will see, this texture will work just fine for our purposes. For this demo, the first thing I'll do is create a polygon plane. I will now create a new material in my hypershade. And I will apply my leaf image to the color channel of my material. and I will apply my material to my polygon plane. Remember to press 6 on your keyboard if you want to see the model in textured mode. Now, let's compare the textured plane to my original image. You'll notice that the image in Maya is a bit compressed. As I said before, Maya prefers that textures are square. If we look at it in the UV editor, you will see that it is similar, similarly compressed. As a quick fix, what I will do is I will simply do a non-uniform scale on my mesh. And so, so that I don't have any unnecessary uh, transforms on my mesh, I'm going to freeze the transformations. Let's take a quick look at my Polygon Planes UVs. <coughs> To do so, I'll select my mesh. Under the modeling tool set, come over here to UV, UV editor. UVs refer to a system of 2D mapping on three-dimensional forms. This is a very important concept for applying textures to our models. This particular example is UVs at their very simplest. I've used my Polygon Primitive's default UVs and haven't had to adjust them at all to work with my texture. In later tutorials, I'll go into more depth on how to effectively use UVs with more complicated models. But let's take a look at what happens when I adjust my UVs. I'm going to select all my UVs and using my Move tool, I'm just going to move it around, and you'll notice that my texture swims around on my mesh here. Or if I rotate my UVs, you'll see that the image will rotate on my model. Or if I scale my UVs down, the leaf becomes bigger. Or if I scale my UVs up, 
the texture will repeat over and over and over again on my mesh. If I select an individual UV, notice how it distorts the image on my mesh. Or if I select a group of UVs, notice the effect it has on, on the mesh with the texture. I'm going to show you a couple more interesting things that we can do with this uh, that do not involve working any further with UVs. Okay, so uh, one thing that uh, isn't quite effective with this particular texture right now is the fact that it's just a leaf on a flat plane. Um, it would be nice to mask these uh, white areas out so that it would look more like a leaf. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. So to do so, I'm going to change from my modeling menu to my rendering menu. I'm going to go to texturing, 3D paint tool, and I'm going to open up the tools uh, for the 3D paint tool. As you can see, there's an X on here indicating that I cannot paint on my mesh yet. One other thing I want you to take notice of, actually, as I changed this earlier, the attribute to paint is set to transparency. I can paint any of these different attributes of my texture uh, in this tool, in the 3D Paint tool, I want to do transparency, so I'll select that. And to get it so that I can paint on it, I need to click on Assign Edit Textures. I set mine to 1024 by 1024. I think that's a good resolution. And I'm going to click on this button that says Assign Edit Textures. And now I can paint on my image. Right now, if I flood it white, let's see what happens. It becomes transparent. And if I flood it black, It becomes opaque. So I'm going to use my brushes here and the color, which will be white, and I'm going to mask out these areas by painting transparency. And as you can see, it starts to mask those areas out. If I accidentally paint transparency in an area that I don't want it, that's okay. I'll simply change my brush to black and just paint those areas back in. I'm going to speed up my video now as I mask out the areas that I don't want in my image. Okay, so I've finished creating my transparency channel for my leaf, and as you can see, it's looking pretty good. Uh, to demonstrate that it in fact does have transparency, I'll go ahead and create a polygon sphere, uh, scale it down, and put it behind the leaf. And as you can see, it is in fact transparent. However, all the geometry still is there. So, what can we do to make this look a little bit more convincing? Right now it's actually looking pretty good, however, it seems unusually flat. The last step is going to be to do some very simple modeling changes to the mesh. For this part, I will speed up the video.
Okay, I think I'm done. And here is my leaf. In this video, I've shown you some simple techniques for creating a leaf uh, using the camera on your phone and just some simple techniques in Maya. If you have knowledge of a tool such as Photoshop or other image editing software, uh, it's actually even easier to make a leaf, and I will demonstrate that in a future video. Hope you enjoyed my video, and thanks for watching.